Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today we have something informative lined up for you. If you like my video, don't forget to share and subscribe, and for more tech insights. Stay safe online, cyber defense. Before we dive into the awesome world of free lifetime servers, we gotta do the responsible thing and lay down some ground rules. This information here, it's like that, don't try this at home, warning you see before a crazy stunt. I'm sharing this knowledge to educate you about servers and how to use them responsibly. What we're talking about here, trying to snag free server solutions, it can be a bit of a gray area. Some companies might have rules against it. Others might not be too thrilled if you're using their resources without paying. You catch my drift? Always, and I mean always, respect the terms of service of any company you deal with online. If you're unsure about something, drop them an email and ask. It's better to be safe than sorry. Let's be real for a sec. Who wouldn't want a free server that lasts forever? Imagine the possibilities. It's like finding a lifetime supply of Nutella almost too good to be true. Just think about never running out of your favorite spread. But here's the thing. It's not impossible. Yep, you heard that right. There are ways to get your hands on a server without spending a fortune. With a little bit of know-how and some persistence, you can actually get your hands on a server without spending a dime. It might take some effort, but it's definitely doable. Now before you get too excited, let me clarify. We're not talking about top-of-the-line dedicated servers with enough power to run a small country. Those are in a league of their own. Those bad boys cost serious cash. They are designed for heavy-duty tasks and come with a hefty price tag. But for basic needs like hosting a website, storing some files, or running a small game server, there are definitely ways to do it for free. You just need to know where to look and what to do. Think of it like this. It's like finding a sweet deal on a used car. It might not be brand new, but it serves its purpose well. It might not be the newest or fanciest model, but it gets you from point A to point B without breaking the bank. And that's what really matters, right? And sometimes you even find a hidden gem, something that exceeds your expectations and makes the whole effort worthwhile. So, do your research, read reviews and join online communities. You'll be surprised at the opportunities that are out there. With the right approach, you can turn the dream of a free server into a reality. Happy hunting. Okay, so you're intrigued by the idea of a free server. But why do you even need one in the first place? Well, let me tell you, servers are like the Swiss Army knives of the tech world. They can do it all. First off, you can host your own website. Forget about paying monthly fees to those hosting companies. With your own server, you're the boss. You control the content, the design, everything. Second, servers are great for storage. Got a ton of photos, videos, or important files. A server can act as your own personal cloud, giving you access to your data anytime, anywhere, and for all you gamers out there, a server can be your ticket to online gaming bliss. Host your own game servers for Minecraft, Counter-Strike, or whatever you're into, and invite your friends to join the fun. These are just a few examples, but trust me, the possibilities are endless. So you're ready to embark on your free server quest. This journey might seem daunting at first, but with a clear plan, you'll be up and running in no time. Awesome. Let's break down the process into manageable steps each one bringing you closer to your goal. Step one, define your needs. This is the foundation of your entire project. First things first, you need to figure out what you need your server for. This will guide all your subsequent decisions. Are you hosting a website, storing files, running a game server? Each use case has different requirements. The type of server you need will depend on what you plan to use it for. Make a list of your requirements to stay organized. Step two, research free server providers. This is where you start exploring your options. Once you know what you need, it's time to start hunting for free server providers. There are many out there, but not all are created equal. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'll guide you through the best options available. In the next section, I'll be sharing some of my favorite providers that offer free server options. These have been tested and are reliable. Step three, sign up and configure. This is where the real fun begins. Found a provider you like? Excellent. Now it's time to create an account and configure your server to meet your needs. Great. Now it's time to create an account and configure your server. This step is crucial for ensuring everything runs smoothly. This usually involves choosing an operating system, 
which can affect the performance and compatibility of your server. Setting up your domain name, which is how users will find your server online, and tweaking some technical settings. These settings can optimize your server for better performance. Don't worry, most providers have user-friendly interfaces that make this process a breeze. You'll be guided through each step. Step 4. Start using your server. This is the moment you've been waiting for, and there you have it. You've successfully scored yourself a free server. Congratulations, you've successfully scored yourself a free server. Now, it's time to put it to good use. Now it's time to unleash your inner tech wizard and start using it for all your awesome projects. Whether it's for development, hosting or gaming, the possibilities are endless. Free server providers, a world of options. Now for the fun part, finding the perfect free server provider for your needs. There are tons of options out there, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Let's take a look at a few popular choices. Provider One. This provider offers a generous free tier with limited resources, making it a great option for small websites or personal projects. Provider Two. Known for its user-friendly interface and excellent customer support, this provider is a solid choice for beginners. Provider Three. If you need a bit more power, this provider offers a free trial period with access to more robust resources. Remember, it's crucial to compare the features, limitations, and terms of service of each provider before making your decision. And hey, don't be afraid to experiment and try out a few different options to find the perfect fit for you. My free server adventures and how you can learn from them. Now, I wouldn't be a true tech enthusiast if I hadn't gone on my own free server adventures, right? It's almost like a rite of passage in the tech world. Let me tell you, it's been a wild ride full of ups and downs, twists and turns, and a whole lot of learning. I've had my fair share of successes and failures, but that's all part of the learning process. Each failure taught me something new, and each success felt like a major victory. One time I managed to snag a free server with surprisingly decent specs. I was stoked. It felt like I had hit the jackpot. I set up a website, a personal cloud storage, and even a small gaming server for me and my buddies. We had a blast using it for various projects and gaming sessions. It was awesome. For about a month, everything was running smoothly and I was on cloud nine. Then, bam, the provider shut down their free tier without any warning. It was like the rug was pulled out from under me. I learned my lesson the hard way. Always have a backup plan. You never know when things might go south. Another time, I got lured in by a shady provider promising the world for free. Big mistake. It sounded too good to be true, and it was. My server was slow, unreliable, and kept getting bombarded with spam. It was a nightmare to manage. I quickly realized that sometimes free comes at a cost. The cost of time, effort, and sometimes even data security. The moral of the story? Always be cautious and do your due diligence. Do your research, be cautious, and always be prepared for the unexpected. In the world of free servers, nothing is guaranteed, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Avoiding the server graveyard common pitfalls. Navigating the world of free servers can be tricky, and there are definitely some pitfalls you'll want to avoid. Here are a few common mistakes to watch out for. Falling for unlimited promises. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Be wary of providers offering unlimited resources for free. There's always a catch. Ignoring the terms of service, I know, reading through pages of legal jargon isn't the most exciting thing but it's crucial to understand the terms of service before you sign up for any service. Neglecting security. Just because your server is free doesn't mean you should skimp on security. Always use strong passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and keep your software up to date. By being aware of these common pitfalls, you can increase your chances of success and avoid unnecessary headaches down the road. Free servers, your key takeaways. All right, let's recap some key points from our free server extravaganza. Free servers exist, but they come with limitations. Don't expect top of the line performance, but they can be a great option for basic needs. Do your research and choose a reputable provider. Read reviews, compare features, and make sure you're comfortable with their terms of service. Prioritize security. Protect your server and your data with strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and regular software updates. By following these tips, you'll be well on your way to enjoying the benefits of a free server. Go forth and server. So there you have it, folks. 
everything you need to know about scoring a free lifetime server solution. Remember, it's definitely possible, but it requires some effort, research, and a little bit of luck. Don't be afraid to experiment, learn from your mistakes, and most importantly, have fun with it. Now go forth and unleash your inner tech wizard. Thanks for watching and learning with us. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. We value your feedback. Cyber Defense.